Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're bringing you the second part in our gameplay of Warfighter Shadow War. Now, when we left off, we had just set up the game. We uh, end up choosing a solo or, or a mission. All the missions can be played solo, but a mission where you actually have only a single soldier that you're bringing into the fight with you. Uh, it's kind of it's a, a covert mission. A lot of Shadow Wars missions are covert. This one, I'm trying to tap a hacking center in North Korea. So we are gonna work our way through this. Uh, we're dropping in with a Halo parachute drop, high altitude, low opening parachute drop, and we're going to try to be extracted with a helicopter once we complete the mission. But before we get down to the table, I do want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a great website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. They have a great inventory of games for you to choose from. If you're looking to just build out your collection, you want to add some more stuff that you don't have yet in your collection. Some Maybe you're missing a couple of genres. Maybe you have uh, a game you always wanted that you just have to get your hands on. Go check out Board Game Co.'s selection. See if they've got it. They also will buy games from you. You can sell games to them. They... They will take games right off your hands. Uh, they've got a really competitive pricing system over there, so go check that out as well. And if you have a Board Game Geek uh, account and you have set up a wish list where you set up uh, a trade list, I should say, where you have the games that you want in trade, the games that you have for trade, they can link right into your Board Game Geek account check out they'll, they'll check out that trade list they will then compare that to their inventory and build a trade list right there on their website in just a matter of a minute or so you'll have all that uh, built out right there and you can make an easy trade with them now if you don't have a board game account no big deal you can still trade with board game co but it just takes a little bit more effort on your part so be sure to go check out Board Game Co. If you do, click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, let's get down to the game topper, and we're going to see how I do in this mission for Shadow War. All right, so before we get started, just a couple other things to show you on here. This is the noise track as I do various things such as uh, move, uh, fire my weapon, hand-to-hand uh, -hand attacks even have the potential it, it is zero but there's a potential for something to happen there but all these different things cause noise we'll make this go up uh, then there's on the noise track you see there's the pauses column here every time the noise track moves I will moves up I should say I'll roll for it and if I were to roll a one currently then a random enemy would pause uh, like they're looking around because they think they heard or saw something uh, I, right now on the current noise level, the alarm can't be sounded, but once we get up to here, then also we'll be looking to see if the alarm is sounded. With a roll of two or less, obviously there, the alarm would be sounded. So that's how that all works. When the alarm is sounded, one of the guys that's out on the board will be put on the alarm track. It's different depending on who it is. And then every action I take, not every turn I take, but every action I take, they'll move closer to sounding the alarm. When the alarm is sounded, this status goes from on duty to on alert, and then lots of bad guys start showing up, and it's a real bad time. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is draw our hand of cards. We have seven health, so that is also our hand size. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five six seven now you'll also see that we have to figure out how to get to the tap a hacking center objective and so these are locations that we're gonna have to go through and so hopefully let's see we didn't get it all right so there are cards in here called location markers we're gonna have to this is common apparently that you end up not having any of that in your hand at the beginning and you have to dig through the deck to, to find them. All right, so basically what we're gonna do, our first action is gonna to be to discard some of these cards and find a location marker. All right, so we've got Snapshot. Uh, any soldier may perform an attack without spending an action. That's pretty good, we're gonna we'll set that to the side here for now. Advance, pay when you uh, are paying an interest cost, add three to your movement value. Uh, not too important to hold on to for now, so we'll put it here. 
Squad entry, each non-player soldier and squad. Well, see, we don't have non-player soldiers and squad soldiers, so we definitely don't need that. Too quiet. I may only play if there are no hostiles in play. All soldiers gain one extra action at the start of the soldier turn. The first hostile, the uh, start of the soldier turn, the first time a hostile is in play. This one, I'm pretty sure we want to keep that because currently there are no hostiles in play. And in my experience, it mainly only occurs at the beginning of the game. Uh, prepare fire play when you declare an attack. Treat your defeat cover roll as a six. That's actually really you know what the snapshot let's let's discard that one keep in prepared fire for now steady aim pay when you declare a range attack add two to your attack rolls i don't think we need that right now again the most important thing is going to be getting some location cards shake it off you may heal one or discard a suppressed counter let's get rid of shake it off for now and too quiet may only pet play if there are no, oh, again, we, we know that one. Oh, wait. Did I uh, throw? Oh, I actually, this is the original Too Quiet. I somehow slipped it to the back of my hand. Uh, yeah, that's the original one. All right. So, like I said, th so there's some really good cards in here. There's a couple that we really don't care about, but there's some really good cards in here. But right now, we're trying to find the location card. So, we're discarding these five. This is an action, by the way. And then we're going to draw five to replace it. One, two, three, four, five. There, that's what we're looking for, location marker. Let's go and look and see what else we got here. Stealth kill. Play when you declare a stealth or suppress attack. Automatically get attack roll 10 and defeat cover roll six. So an auto kill, basically. Um, another two quiet. Eyes. Perform two or up gun four reveals. The, anytime you see it like that, the parentheses is where we can pay an experience to get that instead of the original. All right, so location marker. Automatically discard that, and we'll draw a location here in a second. Let's look at the rest of these real quick. Shot by shot, you may perform an attack without spending an action. May only play if there are no hostiles in play. Oh, it's too quiet again. That's the original too quiet. Okay, let's keep those together. And all right, so then let's draw a location card. And we've got forced labor farm. All right, so it has an interest cost of three, meaning we'll have to discard three uh, cards to get into it. But remember, don't err. Oh no, our boots don't affect our movement ability, our boots just affect how quiet we are. Uh, but we do have two movement ability here, so really. This will cost us one to move into. Then we have the night movement uh, penalty that we'll have to deal with as well. Night movement cost. But to even get this out here, it's going to cost one action to play. It's a structure which doesn't have any actual gameplay effect unless a card is referencing structures. And it has this distraction ability where if we had brought some explosives with us, we could set them up here. And then if things get bad, blow them up and, and, and helps us out a little bit. Um, so... First off, before we do anything, let's play Let's play Too Quiet, all right? So there are no hostiles in play currently, and so we will gain an extra action once hostiles come into play, all right, which is about to happen. So we're going to use this action to play Force Labor Form. All right, so now... We have 40, what was it, 46 resources. So right here, 30 to 49 resources. We're going to draw three hostiles worth of hostiles. Uh, three, <laughs> three points worth of hostiles. So we draw from the top of the deck. And so in this version of Warfighter, the back of the card is like kind of a, you know, we're seeing these hostiles in the dark, seeing the shadows of them. We, we think we know what we see. We're not positive. When we reveal it, we'll flip it over and it'll be something a little bit different. Usually the reverse side is less dangerous than the current side that's up. Uh, so anyway, this one is worth one experience point. All right. But remember, we need to get to three. This one is also worth one. And now this one is worth two, so now we are above three. So that one gets played, and we stop. All right, so here's the board situation. We go in and uh, 
discard this. I just had it out to remind us. We get an extra action, so I'm going to go ahead and reflip one of these. I think technically speaking, I would get a third action token, but it's not going to be a permanent thing, so I'm just going to flip one back over. This is So this is interesting. On these cards, you can see their search ability. They have up to three different numbers. Right now, this one has two. The first number is its search ability in its current location. The second is in one range away, all right? So that basically is how much the noise meter is gonna go up based off of, uh, like at the end of the turn when they start searching during their turn. Cause you know, they're just kind of wandering around. They have a chance of finding me, okay? All of these guys are much better at searching in their current location than in a range one location. So that makes me think, oh, you know, I forgot to put out my actual soldier. All right, so there's my location right there. So I'm thinking uh, that we should go ahead and reveal these guys because, like I said, they generally are less dangerous when they're revealed than when they're in the current form. In fact, some of them might just be shadows if we reveal them. Uh, oh, wait, hold on real quick. I just realized this one actually had – so this says – so uh, let, let's just let's discuss this real quick. Evade three experience points. I can spend three experience points just to discard this card uh, um, by evading it. If this card in its current form, uh, in its unrevealed form, were to go for the alarm, it would start on the third alarm space. Uh, and then also I'm supposed to place it one behind the rearmost character. Well, my character is here. One behind it would be over here, but they can't be placed on the insertion. I'm pretty positive they can be placed on the mission. Let me double check that. Yeah, yeah, in the uh, the keywords list, it says that behind are the locations between a soldier and the mission card, including the mission card. So it actually, this card would be here, which would put these like that. You can see these other two don't have any special stuff like that. All right, so we got that straightened out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reveal all of them. I'm going to use, use eyes. I'm going to use one experience point. So I have five. And really remember, I want to try to stay at five because that will guarantee that I get into the helo with no problems at the end. So we're going to reveal all three of these guys. All right. So here at the, the mission site, we have... Passing civilians. I can spend two experience points to evade them. They go to the if they go to the alarm, it's the fourth space on the alarm. You may not declare an attack against the passing civilians unless the passing civilians are going for the alarm or is in the, or if they are in the objective. And the civilians treat pauses as no effect. Here we've got the a guard. All right, so. He's got a decent chance of, of hitting, and he's got range zero to one. Uh, evade three, alarm two. And, oh, see, here we go, shadows. So this was nothing. All right, so that just gets discarded. And, of course, eyes get discarded. So now here's something cool here is with this guard originally, you see there were two reticles on here. Reticles are essentially the health, right? Um Whereas with the guard, there's just one. So one, you know, if I just got to get one KIA on this card and it's gone. So it might be worth it to take a shot from where I am and worry about moving next go round. Let's see. Well, actually, I could even spend an action. Oh, I could even take him out like this. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so. You know what? And we're going to. All right. So we're going to play snapshot. You may perform an attack without spending an action. So we don't have to spend our action. And it is suppressed because we're using the M4 carbine down here, which has, which is suppressed as we know. Okay. Play when you declare a stealth or suppressed attack. It is suppressed. Automatically get an attack roll 10. Defeat cover six. All right. So. The cover is this right here. So we normally have to roll a three or better while well, we're rolling a six. And then uh, for the M4 carbine at range one, we need to roll a nine. 
but we are rolling a, uh, a 10 instead automatically. Uh, well, actually, we have this, so we would have to roll an 8. But, like I said, we don't have to roll anything. It's an auto kill. And... Yeah, that's all there is. So somebody tell me in the comments, since I'm doing, I think I have to, it says play when you declare a stealth or suppress attack. So I think I have to do that before I draw the unaware target chips, uh, chits. So that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm not even going to draw those because I've already killed the guy. And so it's pointless to draw them. We'll get into those. For those of you that aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, we'll get into those shortly. But that's a kill on this guy. That's one experience point I get. You can see. It's hard to see a little bit, but right there, one experience point. So they were back to six. Uh, now we got to deal with the noise. It is suppressed, but it's not, you know, uh, it's not completely silent. So we see here suppressed noise minus three. We're using black ammo. Black ammo normally costs or causes five noise. This is minus three, so it's only causing two noise. So that's going to make this just bump up to here. And then we have to roll. A D10, if we get a three or less, actually, that doesn't even matter because the only thing on the board right now are the civilians who treat pauses as no effect. But let me just, I'll do it anyway, just so you can kind of see it. So like I said, no need to roll, but just so you see how it worked, we'd roll and it got a six. And so since over there, it's at three or less. And let's see if we can get that in the screen here. Anyway, so it, we would need three or less. So that would cause a normal soldier to pause. But again, we don't have a soldier out here. We just have the passing civilians. So anyway, let's now we're going to we're going to move. So we're going to spend an action. And we have to add two to our shadow rolls. I don't think there's anything else that affects. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see here. Um, if we don't want to discard... Like right now, we'd have to discard, uh, looks like four. Yeah. One for the entrance cost because he has uh, two movement and then the three night entrance cost. But we're going to use our night vision goggles or our ENVGs. Once each soldier turn, pay one action experience point or discard one action card to um, perform one reveal or um, ignore night entrance penalties. Oh, and this, right, this also gives us one to our ranged attack roll, so keep that in mind, too. Okay, um, we will discard one of these. Like I said, it's unlikely. It's, it's hard to get no bad guys on here. The rest, I guess I could spend two experience points to get rid of these guys. Let's not do that, though. I think we're all right with just the civilians on the board. So we're going to discard two quiet to pay that cost. And so now we have no penalty going into the, labor, the forced labor form, except we have to spend the one for the regular entrance cost, so we'll be discarding prepared fire. Move into here. Now, we need to roll for our, our, um, our shadow ability. So again, this adds two to our shadow rolls, and our shadow roll normally is eight plus, so six plus. We got a six, so we were completely silent when we moved into the force labor farm. Okay, so that's the end of our turn. So now for the hostiles, first we do a reinforcement roll. And the reinforcements occur at any location that has a soldier in it, which has the force labor form does. So first we roll a d10, we got a seven, okay. Reinforcement rolls, uh, one, it says one through four. So the way that would work is we would look at the experience point, experience points for the next enemy, which is one. And then we would add that to this roll. That's eight. And since eight is outside the range of one to four, no reinforcements show up and we discard that hostile card. All right. So we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, this is definitely working out after one turn way better than what has happened to me in the past. Uh, but I, I'm really trying to focus on the stealth and, and the quiet. I never used a covert gear before, so let's see. Again, it's only one turn. Didn't think it happened. Uh, first thing we're going to do, uh, oh, wait, we're, we're not done with the hostile turn. So reinforcement roll, attack. Well, nobody can attack because nobody knows I'm here. Uh, close 
close or adjust range, uh, basically movement. So with these guys, they have this range right here, one to four, all right? So the civilians are generally gonna stay put or they're gonna move this way. All right, so let's roll the D10. So we got a four, and so they're gonna stay put. If they had greater than a four, they would have moved in this direction. All right, so now, next up there we have adjust no, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. So then we move into the night activities, pauses. Anybody, that, any soldiers that had paused would flip back to unaware at this point. Anybody that is going for the alarm would advance up the alarm track. Next we have to adjust noise. So we look, they have a search of one, but only in the location they're currently in. So nobody is, is able to find me right now. We're okay. Um, and then on top of that, the mission has these activity ratings. So right now, if, if only the mission card was out or a card in spot two, the activity rating is six. The activity rating is basically how noisy everything is just normally. And so that obviously helps me if I have other noise to blend into. And so I subtract that from the total noise that's being created. And in this case, we go back down to zero. So we're really, that's really, really helpful. I just realized this says start with two XP. I completely forgot about that. He, um, West over here starts with six XP, but there should be two additional XP on my guy. Let's get that real quick. Experience points are used a little differently in this game, as you've seen, than in a lot of games. And so, you know, they're, they're spent as a resource. And so having just a couple extra can be a real big, a real big deal. All right. So we adjust the noise. Anybody that was suppressed, we remove that from them. Any, any bad guys that were suppressed. And then if the alarm was sounded, we'd deal with stuff, but it's not. All right, so now any, any uh, hostiles that were suppressed, we would remove the suppressed tokens from them. And then if the alarm was sounded, we'd have some things to do there, but it's not obviously. And so we advance the mission timer down to 10 and we continue. All right, so let's move right back into my turn. Now my guy has two combat experience. So we're going to draw two cards to begin with. Stealth attack. You may perform a suppressed attack without spending an action. And I can potentially add to the, I can add two to the roll or potentially four to the attack roll uh, and snapshot attack without spending an action. All right. So oh, I'll flip my actions back over. All right. So I think what we're going to do here though is uh, I'm going to discard snapshot and then draw five new cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, got another location marker. Got another stealth attack. By the way, if you see here, let me make sure. Oh, no. I messed up here. Okay. Stealth kill, covert one. I needed to discard a card to use that. Let me make sure I didn't mess up. No, the rest of it looks okay. All right, so that would have changed things a little bit. Let me go ahead and discard... Um, I'm going to just, because I discard it and, and um, kind of payment for, for playing that wrong, I'm going to discard two cards right now. We'll discard one of our stealth attacks and and you know what? I'm not, not the location marker. I'll discard one of these at random. My other stealth attack. Okay, that actually really, really does suck. Okay, that's the one card I definitely wouldn't have done. Anyway, we've got advance. So uh, when you're paying the interest cost, add three to your movement. That can be very helpful. And different angle play. After you draw an unaware target counter, draw again to choose which to use. Well, that's not so helpful for us because we have patience. We always draw an extra uh, unaware target counter. All right, so real quick, let's see what location we've found. We've got the train station, entrance cost of three, zero night entrance cost, okay. Uh, reinforcements one to four, P one experience point to play. It's a structure on an unmodified reinforcement roll of a one. Draw and place the next two hostile cards. All right, that's not great. But it's all gonna start out with only one hostile card, so that's pretty good. 
And there's, I mean, we need to get in there, so let's go ahead. We'll pay the one experience point. All right. Play the train station. Uh, by the way, this number down here, it'll cost me two actions to get into melee combat. That's what that number at the bottom right of the picture is. All right, so we got to draw one experience point worth of hostiles. Well, the very top one here is two experience points, so that goes there. I think we will use... Oops, let's flip that back over. We'll use our... Uh, ENVGs this time, we don't need them for the night movement costs, so that, or the night entrance costs. So we'll use them instead. Uh, discard one action card. We'll discard different angle to reveal, right? So uh, discard one action card to perform one reveal. And we've got soldiers, all right? So they can inflict two wounds, so that's very dangerous. Uh, oh, and look how much they added to the... I didn't even look at that, the entrance cost on this side. On this side, it's not nearly as bad, but it's still not great. It costs four experience points to evade them. Alarm three, two to the entrance cost. I've got seven experience points. It would cost me four to evade them. That would knock me down to three. I'm really trying to stay right around five. So I really don't think, I really don't think evading them is a good option. So right now the interest cost is five. Oh, you know what, I forgot, I used an action to draw new cards, so that action's used. The interest cost is five right now to get in there because they're there. Now if I kill one of them, they stop affecting the entrance cost. But that also alerts the other one, obviously, because his buddy just died. I could add one or two to my ranged attack rolls. So that would make, so normally range one, I need to roll a nine, but then with, that's eight, seven, six, or even five to get a kill. But they have four cover. Oh, that's real bad too. Okay, I don't need to rush this. Let's go ahead and we're gonna draw more cards. Let's just, we're just gonna keep the ones we've got because I, both of them could be useful to me. And we're gonna draw f uh, five more. One, two, three, four, five. So we got follow me. That one's not gonna be worthwhile. That only help. That helps with additional soldiers. So be a solo mission. I'm gonna I'll set that to the side. I can discard that later. Add three noise and roll for noise for the soldier. Do not advance the timer counter at the end of the turn. Okay. Oh, we got a location. The family farm. All right. Two actions to play. That's interesting. Okay. Um, advance. That, you know. Adds three to our movement value and steady aim. Play when you declare a ranged attack. Add four to your attack roll. That's nice. All right. So, well, okay. So I don't have anything to, like, I don't have anything to take care of the action. I don't have any actions left. I don't have anything to give you a free action. So we'll go ahead and end our turn there and see what happens uh, with this soldier. That might That might help figure out what I'm going to do here. So uh, reinforcement roll. Reinforcement is happening here. I've got a four, but the next hostile is experience one. So that makes it five. One to four is when hostiles show up. So nothing happens. All right. So now if they were, oh, that's the other thing I'm forgetting to put out here. Are these unaware tokens. So that just shows that they are unaware currently of my existence. So because of that, they do not attack. Uh, let's see. We got to roll four if they move. We roll a five, which falls right in that range. So they stay right, right where they're at. Uh, let's roll for the civilians. Roll the nine. So they actually are going to move here. All right. So they're over here at the forced labor farm with me. Uh, let's see. Next up is any pauses turned or unaware. That's not applicable. 
Uh, advanced mode for alarms. Nope. Adjust noise. Okay. So civilians are here where I am. So that's one for the search. The soldiers at a range of one also have one. So that's two. That's everybody that's out here. Uh, this train station is on space number three. So the activity is five. So again, that drops it down to zero. Nothing happens there. We're, we're fine. Okay. So the sound is still staying very low. Uh, no suppresses to remove. Advance the mission timer. We have nine turns left. Okay. Here we go. Beginning of the turn. I draw two for combat experience. We've got move out. You may perform a move without spending an action and pay, play when you are paying interest cost. Add three to your movement value. Have another one of those, right? Yeah, let's put those together. Oh, I have three of those? Oh, wow. Okay. Got those back. So, we're definitely going to move into the train station. It's going to cost us five, but we've got advance. So, play both of those. Uh, that adds... Actually, we only need to add play one of them because we have two movement and it's five. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking six. So five. So play one of these. That gives us five movement total. So now that covers the entrance cost. And we'll play move out. So the move does not cost us an action. So now we just got to check if we make any noise. All right. So we rolled the four. Which, yes, that because it was... Let me, I can't remember. One... Oh, that's something else for my shadow. Or maybe that was a card I played. So I need to roll a seven or better. So we got one noise there. So now we have to roll to see if anybody pauses. Nope, as a two, it was close, but nobody pauses. Okay. So right now, I think we might go ahead and play the family farm and see if we can just keep moving without, without attacking. I mean, if... It, these guys aren't doing a great job searching. The family farm, I have two experience points worth of hostiles out there. So basically what I'm trying to decide is, do I want to attack these guys before putting the next location out? And I think I do, because once you start getting more bad guys out there, it really starts to snowball pretty quickly. And I think I got a good shot at taking them out. So... And, if, and I've got almost no noise, so I could do a burst, which would be four. No, it'd be two, two attack rolls, four noise. Okay, so I think I am going to do a burst attack because that'll be two attack dice, so I could potentially kill both of them. On top of that, we're going to do combined fire and steady aim. And we'll use two experience points to up gun both of those. So we'll be adding, that's adding six to our attack roll. Okay. So it's adding six to our attack roll, two D10s and a D6. Now the trick here is, oh, do I want to do, they have four cover. So I might just suppress these guys, but once that happens, they're going to start Oh man, they're gonna, they'll start running for the alarm if I don't kill them. So I'm either going to suppress them both or I'm going to kill them both. What if I I just look at this. Oh my gosh, with the K bar, was I supposed to get start with 2 XP, two more experience points? I should have two more experience points out here. All right, so that's that's where I'm at. The soldiers just have such high cover. I mean, it basically makes it 50-50. You know what? You know what, y'all? I'm not gonna do it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to sneak past them if I can. So let me get my experience back. Take these back into my hand. And in fact, now that I realize how much, now that I've got that extra experience, I'm at eight, nine experience. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend four experience. That'll leave me with five. And I'm going to evade these guys. So they're gone. I'll spend two actions to play the family farm. Okay. 
and they so we need to get two experience points worth of hostels so this first one zero experience points one now we're at two okay now let's make sure i'm not missing anything here so this one said may only be re may only be revealed at range three as scott evade three alarm two evade three alarm three and evade four alarm two fearless i have not seen fearless before this says a hostile car with the fearless keyword is not affected by suppress that's interesting all right so we definitely want to do some revealing here well we can't we're, we're gonna well, here, well okay all right Blah. back up okay discard follow me to use the envgs to reveal one of these hostels Question is which one? I think we reveal this one. It's zero experience points. We got a good shot that this is just a shadow. Nope, it's a civilian. So I could evade him for two experience points. Alarm five. You may not declare an attack against the civilian unless the civilian is going for the alarm. Okay, so very similar to the passing civilians as well. But that, I think, is going to be my turn. Reinforcement roll for the train station. Eight, we're good there. Disc oh, I'm glad we're discarding the top here. That one's worth three experience points, so chances are that one was something nasty. So was the next one, though. So uh, Then we go with the movement. So let's, let's start here, and we'll work our way over. So five, so they move here. And then we'll go from the top down. A five, that stays where it is. A five, that stays where it is. And an eight, the civilian moves along that way. Sorry, even the civilian should have these unaware tokens on them, even though they go straight from unaware to going for alarm, but they should still have these on them. As should even the unrevealed guys. I don't know why I keep forgetting to put these out. As soon as somebody paused, I would have remembered though, because you flip it over for the, the pause side. All right, so now we got to adjust for noise. So these guys have searched one, two. They only search in their current spot. And that guy, same thing. So two. And right now that is spot four. So activity is three. So we're at zero. Actually, we're at minus one. So that goes down again. All right, so mission timer moves to eight. And yeah, we got to figure out how we're going to handle this whole situation. Let's draw two cards. Snapshot, so attack without an action. Squad entry, that one's no use to us. We'll spend squad entry to use the ENVGs to reveal. Who do we want to reveal? We'll reveal this guy since they are searching at range one. Oh, it's a shadow. There we go. All right. So now here's the thing. I can't suppress this guy. So and he he starts at alarm two. I don't. If I if I were to attack that guy, I would want to make sure that I could kill him without a doubt. So I think I'm just going to move. No, but he has search three in that space that he's in. I think I'm going to try to get my kind of adjust my hand here a little bit. Let's discard advance. Move, snapshot, we'll keep one advance. So discard those three, we can draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Location marker probably isn't gonna be helpful. Occasionally things will happen to make the objective move back. But that was, is a field is what we've got there. Uh, and then the other three cards, coordinated shot. Each soldier may perform a ranged attack without spinning an action. Do not advance the going for alarm counters for these actions and add only the attack with the highest noise. Different angle. That one's useless to us. And easy does it. Play after any action to make one or two less noise. So that one's pretty good. And that was an action, by the way, to draw those cards. I think, though... Until I can reveal this guy, I feel like 
I think I'm just going to stay here one more turn. And I'm going to I'm going to try to get some more good cards in my hand. So we won't easy does it. Coordinated shot. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of a different angle. Hold on to advance. So yeah, we're just going to get rid of these two cards. And draw two new ones. Coordinated shot again and steady aim. Okay. All right. Well, I need something that can help me defeat cover is what I need. So that was both my actions. Reinforcement roll for this location. Zero plus three. Oh, reinforcements do show up. All right. So let's adjust for noise. So we've got, oh, I should have moved because here we've got three, four, four noise minus three. So it goes up one. And then because the noise track went up one, roll for noise. It's a seven. We're okay. No one is suppressed. Move the timer and my turn. Let's draw these two cards. Snapshot, attack without using action. All soldiers add one or two to their ranged attack rolls. Okay. Now we've got some decisions to make for sure. Okay, so first off, we're definitely gonna use our ENVGs to see what we're dealing with here. We'll discard coordinated shot and reveal fanatics. Oh boy. All right, so, and they're fearless as well. That's not good. That's not good, but they have zero cover. They have zero cover, okay. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take these guys out. First, oh, get my actions back. First, we're gonna move into that space. We've got to spend, ooh, we've got to spend five movement. Well, we've got two already, and we have advance. So we'll play advance. That covers our entire movement cost. Move in here. Now we've got to roll for, for shadows, which is a seven plus. No, six plus. Uh, we've got a five, so we did make some noise there. All right, so let me get it. Oh, no. Okay, we rolled a one. All right, so that is a pauses. Somebody's going to pause. Somebody thinks they heard something. But it's we choose randomly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a nine. Six. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six. So they pause. All right. Well, that's all right, because we're about to take them out anyway. So to, to attack them, we are going to use, we're trying to get them both at the same time. So we're going to use burst, all right? And we're in range zero, so we need to get a six or better, uh, five or better, four or better, I'm not going to use any experience points, but I'll use both of these. I use Combine Fire and Steady Aim, so that adds three more to my roll. So what I say before, four better, so now anything, it's a kill, basically. I just got to not roll a zero, but the, the zero in here actually counts as a 10. So it's an auto kill. They have zero cover, so they are dead. Both hits kill them. Now we got a deal. Well, first off, I get one experience point for that. So they're dead. But we we made some noise doing that, right? Let's get rid of these real quick. We made some noise doing that. Oh, actually, you know what? I do need to roll, though, for reload. Um, but we draw from here. So, oh, okay. So perfect. So that was the first guy. So, like, that was... Let me, just so you can see exactly how this would have worked out. So you draw these tokens anytime you're going up against an unaware target. This was a automatic kill, no reload roll. So one of them got killed straight away. 
Then we draw for the other one. This one also, no reload. I can't believe we got two of those in a, in a row. Enemy kill, uh, kill in action, no reload. Going for alarm, meaning the if there was anybody left, they would be going for alarm. But there's not. That was the last one. Just so you can see what uh, the other things that are in here. Normally what you draw from here is stuff like this, where it's plus three to my shot, and, to my actual, uh, to my D10 which is the shot, and then plus one to trying to defeat cover, which is the D6 that would roll. But anyway, both of them are dead, so, so we're good there. Um, and I didn't have to roll for reload, so we're all right. But the black ammo, each of those die that I would roll to kill the two guys, each would have caused five noise, but suppressed, so minus three for each of them, so that's four noise. And so that's one, two, three, four, but... We've got easy does it. So we will pay one experience point to you to upgun it. So two less noise, one, two. All right. And now we got to roll for noise again since it went up. We got a six, so we're okay because three or less is what would have caused a problem. And that overall was a real successful turn. Move in real quick, take those guys out. Nobody realized what happened. And, oh, and that would have been an action, the attack. And that's, that's my turn there. I think that was pretty successful. Okay. So now, uh, reinforcement roll for the hostiles right here. A four, it only reinforces on one to three. So we're good to go there. And then we have movement. All right, so now let's get these guys, see or see if these guys are going to move. We'll start here and work our way that way. So first the unrevealed one. We've got a five, so stays put. The passing civilian, a five, moves this way. And the regular civilian, an eight, uh, moves on to, well, so it's good that it moves out of our, uh, objective card because we can't enter the objective card while hostiles there but it is now over at our helo but actually looking at that I don't think that actually affects our ability to use the helo so we're, we're actually probably okay there's yeah there's nothing that says that we can't have a hostile there yeah okay cool so that was the uh, the movement let's see Pauses to unaware. Nobody was pausing. Advance. Go for alarm. Not, not a problem yet. Adjust noise. So we've got, so two, three. That's it. And that's space four. So minus three. So zero. So it stays right where it's at. All right. Mission time moves to six. And here we go. So I don't think we worry about revealing this guy right now. I think I think we're just going to activate our hacking center and go from there. All right, so just by being adjacent to the objective card, we can activate it. It does not cost an action. So we're going to go ahead and activate the objective. So now it's just as if the objective was a location that was played onto the board. So you can see we're going to get two... Two, uh, two value worth of hostiles here. So we've got a zero and a one Ugh. and a two. All right. So not fantastic. The turns out the hacking center is pretty busy. So we have to somehow get rid of all these hostiles. All right. So. Um, uh, I think, oh, we forgot to flip our actions back over. All right. So I think the first thing we're going to do is get rid of some of these cards. Actually, we'll just get rid of field because all of these, if we end up having to really start shooting our way through this place, these are going to be very helpful. So we'll get rid of field, draw four cards to get back up to seven, one, two, three, four. Move out, so uh, move without using an action. Another move out, 
move. That's where we add three, roll for noise, but then we do not advance the timer. And just the win, change the hostile status from pauses to unaware. Okay. <clears throat> so that was our first action. So now let's go ahead and reveal one of these. Whoa, look at this. Uh, when they're searching one range away, they get seven noise. So we need to reveal that first for sure. So let's... We're going to discard move to use our ENVGs and reveal this. All right, we've got... A guard post. Well, that's awful because it's stationary. It will not move. We're going to have to attack this. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, pay three XP for each soldier to enter that location. What's this on the side? Pay two XP. So it costs five XP to evade or uh, and alarm two, but then we could pay two XP for each. No, we had to pay two XP for each soldier to enter this location, and it's immobile. Okay, so this whole thing just got real nasty. Fortunately, it it creates a lot less noise, you know, when searching. But we really need to let's see if there's a good way, a good attempt we can make at taking it out. So if we were to do snapshot, combined fire. So if we did that, snapshot, combined fire, and steady aim without up. Without up firing or, yeah, up firing, you know, without upgrading it at all with XP, that's going to be, we'll add three to our attack roll and we're shooting at one range. So knock it down to six plus five, four plus. And if we did burst, we have a shot at killing both guys. Also, by the way, I double checked the rules and earlier I made it sound like what you have to do is draw an unaware target for each reticle on the for each roll that you're making against a, a bad guy. But as it turns out, uh, you, I, I'm pretty positive based on just rereading the rules that you draw one unaware target counter and that works for the entire roll. All right. So. And remember, because we have patience, we can draw, we'll draw two unaware counters and choose the one we want. But here, that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack the guard post right now. So first thing, soldier attacks up there, draw unaware target counter. So let's draw one, see what it is. We have, whoa, the best one we can get right off the bat. So that's two kills, no reloads. Okay, real glad I checked that because, yeah, that was definitely wrong. No, you can only have... Uh, for every attack, you only get one kill maximum. All right, so we did kill one of these guys. Now, because we're using a suppressed weapon, which you usually are in Shadow War, the other person is suppressed. However, they are now going for the alarm. So you can see alarm two. We'll stick this out here. So, All right, so they are right here. So we have to... We need to work to take this guy out. Now, the cool thing is, technically speaking, these modifiers could have been played down to the apply modifier step. So snapshot obviously you had to play ahead of time because you were performing the attack without an action. These didn't get spent, so I still have them. That is spent. This goes, oops, this goes back in the cup. So let's see. Now that caused four noise because I... F I Chose to use burst mode. I fired twice. So one, two, three, four. All right. So now we got to roll this to see if anybody hears anything. A one. Somebody's going for the alarm. Okay. So it's either going to be a hostile in my area or a hostile in the area I fired into that's going to be going for the alarm. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven. So this hostile is now going for the alarm and that is alarm two as well now this one can't actually go for the alarm because they're suppressed so i think what i should 
what I should do is I'm going to move without spending an action. Move into, oh, I can't move into the, t the hacking center, actually. Never mind. Uh, so I have to fire from where I'm at. We're not going to do the, do we do the burst? I think we don't do the burst because of where we're at with the noise. So we're not going to do a burst. All right. So first we got to do, first thing we got to do is draw the inward target counter. Oh, there we go. We got it again. I promise. I promise I'm shaking this cup up, y'all. All right. Well, that's good news, though. That means that killed one of them and the other one is suppressed. So they're not going to move on the track either. But that did, again, cause two noise. I think we're going to have to push close. Let's see. So right now where we're at is we've got three, six, eight, nine, eleven noise that's going to be made. Minus three. Oh, no. This is, let's see. The This is open now, so that's space five. Yeah, minus three, so eight. So the alarm's going to get sounded here regardless. So we just need to push forward and take these guys out. So I'm going to use my my last action here to attack this guy. All right, so once again, see, shaking it up. All right, uh, plus four, plus zero. Let's draw one more, see which one we want to use. No shot, well that's easy. Definitely using the plus four, plus zero. All right, they've got three cover. We did not defeat the cover. We got a, oh, that counts as a 10. That counts as a 10. So we did though, well, we basically just suppressed them further because we didn't break their cover. So they're just still suppressed. Doesn't really actually do anything. So yeah, all right. Other than raise that. <sighs> Okay, so now where we're at, let's roll through this. We've got um, reinforcement roll for my location. A seven, so definitely not going to get reinforcements. This gets discarded. All right, and then we have movement uh, or attacks, but these guys are aware, but they're going for the alarm right now, so they don't attack. Uh, movement, start over here. An eight oh, moves on to my space. Uh, the civilian, an eight. All right, so they move out to here. And they're, when you're going for the alarm, they also don't move. So then we'll go with this guy. Seven moves here. Don't like how many people are on my extraction point. And then this civilian, a three. Well, I get what I, uh, <laughs> careful what you wish for. Now they're over here with me. Now, the interesting thing is I am allowed to kill civilians on the objective point. So I might have to do that here in a second. But for now, this is what we're working with. So let's see, that was the movement so pause is unaware that it's nobody advanced going for alarm. Well, we don't because they're suppressed. Adjust for noise. All right, so here we go. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's going to be more noise than we can deal with. So the alarm is sounded. So now everybody's on alert. So let's go through exactly what's going to happen here. So for the first turn that this happens, these mobilized counters are gonna start getting used. So this goes on to space number two. If there were any hostiles here, they would have all of their unaware tokens, going for a long that sort of stuff, removed. Technically, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This isn't gonna happen until this spot here. So let's finish, let's finish going through the track here. Um, so we had uh, adjusted for noise. We need to re remove the suppress the suppression tokens first. All right, so those are removed. All right, and then we go to alarm sounded. So first turn with the alarm sounded, like I said, this area is mobilized. Now, 
underneath this deck, I keep my other deck of reaction forces. I don't even know if those are different. Keep them shuffled though, just in case. All right, so my reaction forces, the first one shows up here in space two. You can see that it is a three reticle enemy, two experience points for killing it, uh, four cover, and then it can deal up to two wounds when it's at full strength or even with one kill, it still could deal two wounds. Four XP to evade it, and they have plus one penetration, which uh, affects uh, them coming after my, or them being able to break through my cover. Um, and they have range one. So they're out of range for me now, so I don't have to worry about that. Or actually, I don't see anything on here that says they can move. We'll double check that in the rule book when it comes back around to uh, the alarm sound the next turn. So move the mission time to five. All right, so here we go. So we have got to start um, blasting through blasting through these guys. Uh, we've really got to start taking them out. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Confusion 12. So this drops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The reason why that's important is even though, so these guys are still going for the alarm, right? Because their section has not been mobilized yet. Every turn, mobilization will continue to move this way. Once an area is mobilized, then everyone in that area is aware. But they still are going for the alarm. These guys are still unaware. So that's why... That's why we're not, uh, th that's why this track still matters because we'll have to roll for noise still. Okay. So I think we're going to attack. Well, you know what? First, uh, let's see. Well, let's get our actions back. Let's draw our two cards at the beginning of our turn. Easy does it. So we can make less noise. Stealth kill. All right. Uh, declare a stealth or suppress attack, automatically get an attack roll 10, defeat cover 6. Well, guess what? Well, I'll take, here, let's do this. We will use, we're going to discard move out for our ENVGs to flip this guy because there's a chance if there's only one reticle on the other side, then he's dead. So let's see. Yes, yeah, see, so that's a guard. We already had a kill. There's nobody else there. It's just the one reticle. So that guard is dead. We get one experience point for that. And this guy is no longer going for alarm. So we're at six experience points now. All right. So now we're going to stealth kill. Because remember it says when you declare a stealth or suppress attack. Well, we're using a suppress weapon. It is a suppress kill. So um, we'll play that. Okay, so we play that covert one. We got to discard something. We'll discard, move out. Right now, we want to focus on keeping the attack cards in our hand, I think. So uh, this is going to be an action. We got a 10 and a 6, so that's an automatic kill here. So that guy's no longer going for alarm. And we get two experience points for that. So we've got eight experience now. The other thing we'll do here is use easy does it because that normally would cause two noise. Okay, so that's taken care of. Unfortunately, we got to start taking out these civilians. All right, so we're going to make an attack. We'll go against this one since it's only one reticle. One, and, and they only have one cover, so we're going to beat the cover. So we got a seven and a two, so we beat the cover. And... We need nine at range, but remember, we also have eight, seven, uh, so we're good there. So we got an experience point for them, but that did cause two noise, so we got to roll for noise. Got a nine, so we're fine there. That was an action. I don't have anything to help me uh, take another attack so that's where we'll have to end for now all right so here we go let's move through this hostile turn reinforcement roll for my location an eight nothing happens 
All right, and now we go to attacks. These guys can't see me, so we're fine there. Nobody else is aware of me. Uh, so then we go to movement. Well, we'll, well, let's go this way, and then I'll, I'll figure out if these guys move or not. They, I don't. They might not though. It might just go like this. Um, so start with these guys. Eight. So they actually move off the board. They're gone. So that works out pretty good. Then we've got these guys here. Six. So, okay, that's good. Now, as long as these guys don't move here, we'll be all right. Of course they do. Of course they do. All right. Well, we'll flip them over here and deal with them. So let's double check that reaction for us. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that they basically show up in an area and just hold that area and they don't move. So, but what's going to happen now, let's see. So that was the movement, paused, unaware, advanced going for, oh, that's gone. Okay. Uh, adjust noise. All right. So two is all it is. Minus three. So we're fine there. Noise doesn't go up. Um, Remove suppress. No, nobody suppressed. All right, so now we have the train station mobilizes and another reaction force shows up there. And you can see they, looks like they have the identical stats. So now these guys do have range on me, so I really want to get out of this space this turn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. Um, all right, so here we go. I get my actions back. We are going to take just the wind, discard it to use the ENVGs to reveal what we're dealing with here. Oh, it's a machine gun team. That's just awful. You know what, y'all? This is going to be real risky. I've got eight experience points. I really don't feel like I have any other option than to evade them because that's three guys there. The only way, I can't move in here until I get rid of them. And it's going to take too long to, to kill all three of those guys. I'm going to make a ton of noise doing it. And it, these guys are going to end up shooting at me. It's going to be a big, a big problem. So we're going to spend the five experience points, leaving with just three, to evade the machine gun team. All right. Now I will spend an action to move into, oh wait, we forgot to move the timer. So we're at four four turns left. So we've moved into the Tappa Hacking Center objective location. All right, so deliver the comms tracer to the Tappa Hacking Center. All right, so it is there. So now, oh wait, 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 we have to roll for movement. Sorry, roll for shadow. So shadow is eight plus, we have the boots, so six plus. Nine. All right. So that was a quiet movement. No worries there. All right. So now, yeah. So now we are going to move again and we're going to try to get out of here. Move to the helo. So we got to roll six plus with mission ends in failure. Pay experience points before rolling. Add one to the roll for each XP pay. Well, we're going to pay all three of our experience. And so we got to roll a three or better. Otherwise, we fail the mission. This is what it all comes down to right here. A five. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 Back up, back up, Odom. Hold on. You can't go in there yet. Look, we got we to gotta spend. Ah, okay. So we use our ENVGs already when we revealed that machine gun team. So we'd have to spend four to get in there. We only have two cards in our hand. So this action that I, that I did, let me get my experience points back, so don't forget about, about that. The action I used to move instead, I'll use it to draw new cards. Uh, so we'll, we need to draw five cards. So hold, move out. Oh, there we can move without an action. Hey, now we're good. Into the night, discard one hostile card that is behind the rearmost soldier. Location marker, doesn't really matter, but let's just see what location it is. Houses, okay. On point. Uh, 
Another holds. Okay. Well, now, now we can play move out to move without an action. And we'll have to discard. Oh, wait. I could have done it. I'm, I'm ridiculous, y'all. I've got two movement. I'm getting, I'm just all over the place here. I've got two movement. So that gets rid of the entrance cost. And then I just needed two more cards. Okay. Well, so we'll give it a hold. And um, I think I can get rid of the, the houses that way. Either way, I've got plenty of cards. So if I got that wrong, it still wouldn't have mattered. So now I move in there. And then I rolled that three. And so there we go. That should be the end of the mission. I think I just won my first game of Warfighter. All right, so there you go. Now, obviously, I had a, a couple of rules errors. I think I caught most of them during the edit and added a little you know, information there at the bottom of the screen. I'm pretty sure, though, that I would still count that as a win, even with the rules errors that I made. Uh, I am very excited. It's my first win in Shadow War. Um, definitely need to try a couple other missions. Definitely need to go back through where we're in missions where I have multiple soldiers as well. Very, very fun game. I really want to get into some of the other Warfighter core, core sets as well and really see what this game's all about. This is such a cool such a cool game and I love all the different all the different ways you can kind of tweak your your soldiers with the skills with the equipment and the, the weapon there's just a lot of cool stuff going on here uh, as you know I didn't get into any hand-to-hand -hand combat so I might uh, I think there's a couple of guys that are actually more specialized in hand-to-hand -hand combat I might need to bring one of them along on uh, a mission at some point. Okay, well, until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.